Ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all and I hope each and every one of you is doing well. Guys, on this channel, I've been doing more of the chart analysis and I even neglected the part of lifestyle. There's also a lifestyle part on this channel, so I also feature the life of a trade. I feel like it's very much important for you to also see how I live, the things that I do on a regular basis. So, on today's video, I'm going to be giving you a review of my Golf 7.5 GTI. Mind do, I'm not a car reviewer, I'm not a car fanatic. I won't be doing those deep analysis on the car, but I'll just be doing the obvious things that I enjoy on the car and the most that I've put. And also, I will interview my girlfriend and ask her uh, how does she feel to date a person who's driving a Golf 7.5 GTI and if she dated me for that or she dated me for other reasons because, wow, the car is really nice and brings a lot of attention. So then I'll ask her that. So without wasting any further time make sure you like and you subscribe to my channel and you share this video and make sure man you get those likes to 10,000 likes last time we asked for 5,000 likes today i'm asking for 10,000 likes so without wasting any further time let's walk to my golf 7.5 gti so that you guys see it this is the golf 7.5 gti that we're going to be uh, reviewing today mm. I've had this baby for two and a half years and i love her so much so i'll be telling you more about her and what has it done to me and everything so make sure you like and you hit that subscribe button so that you get the review of this car as you want other than that always got your mentor signing in thank you baby how does it feel like to be um <laughs> the passenger seat on a golf 7.5 gti youtube video uh, loading baby. hi baby how what happens uh to your baby what happens to your marau when you are sitting on a vw golf 7.5 that has heated seats that has airbags everywhere that has a beautiful sound that has tinted windows whereby no one can see you uh so baby are you sure you, you're not you dating me because of love or you dating me because you love this i didn't know that you had this when you made <laughs> you're lying i didn't you didn't know yes so sure yeah i represent okay fine what did you think i have when we met i was only 63 no we didn't ask no that's a lie uh, when we met, because you were in bloom. Oh, so baby, after realizing that I have this, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people. Oh, nothing happened. It's normal. Oh, never. Normal. So your heart started loving me even more. No, oh, I don't love you because of what you have. I love. Ah, oh, never. <laughs> what I have is what makes the love to be even much more stronger. Baby. Yes. Huh? So tell me, okay, fine. Tell me your first experience inside my Gold 7.5 GTI. What happened? What happened, Bella? I don't remember. I just remember that we got all the attention and I don't like attention because everybody looks at you. <laughs> so you are jealous because everybody looks no, at me. No, it's, it's like you want know, what? What drama? What drama? I cannot pay attention, so. I don't like that. But okay, fine. Okay, let's not talk about yeah, everyone was not everyone looking at me. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about you yourself. What did this car makes you feel? How were you feeling? Because out of all the girls, out of all the guys who were looking at me, you were inside. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the passenger experience that you've had. No, let's talk about you because it gave you more confidence which are cheap in the percentage. <laughs> but not on an Uno. I mean like it's not yes, an Uno. Not that you have a beautiful car Wait, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Um you wanna make people hear the pipes two minutes. Come, I want you to make the peop make people hear the pipes for just two minutes. Um and then you know, I have valve tronic on this car, so the pipes get in and out. So I'm switching on the pipes. They are on now. So 
not too much but just make people hear just a little bit what's happening <laughs> the estate agent might have us banned so this is no yeah they might have us banned so normal mode then we switch off the Valtronic. It's off now. Then we switch off the car. <clears throat> so, how did that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> how did that make you feel to hear the pipes? Uh, so, babe, I have one more last question. So, when I say I'm coming, uh, do I have to tell you when I'm outside? No, you <laughs> But we outside. 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 That my man is a how how how, how, how do you how do you just hear that I'm outside? How do you just hear? With the sound. Yeah. What sound? But that is different sound. Yeah. There is ah 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 sound, <laughs> sound and then there is. <laughs> Which sound do you hear? The sound. So then, the sound. so do your friends know about this sound? Yes, they do. They must know. That 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 the man's is outside. That the men's is outside. No, uh, what else would you like to advise the girlfriends that are dating guys who have a Gold 7.5 GTI? What what word would you like to say to them? As a person who's experienced, as a person who has been dating a guy for, for two years now that has a 7.5 in other cars. But now let's just talk about this because this was my first car anyway. Uh, so I want us to talk about... What would you like to advise the big sister? Because you, I would say you're a big sister. Because this is a 7.5 GTI, so it's not a Go Five, it's not a Go Four, it's not a. It's the limited edition 7.5 GTI. So yeah, so I want to know from you. It's what advice would you like to tell them? Always look pretty in the passenger seat <laughs> because you're always gonna get the attention <laughs> and make sure that he never goes alone because. <laughs> <laughs> so those are your last tweets you don't want to say anything else yeah I'm you are happy so where can they follow you on instagram because like there's people interested in you who want to see more about you do you even have a, a, a youtube channel <laughs> yes i do okay what's your youtube channel it's handle miss underscore dime underscore same as my instagram handle is it's miss underscore dive underscore okay so let me do a car review um of my go 7.5 gti uh thank you so much for being part of this so guys this is my go 7.5 gti i've had it for three years now i i got this car 2020 no two and a half i got this car 2020 during lockdown um I've had this car for for two and a half years now and I must say each and every day it surprises me with what it can do uh, I'm not gonna talk about the specifics because if you want to know about the specifics of the car you can just simply google all the specifics and get it from YouTube even and all that but let me talk about what I've done on the car let me talk about what I've done on the car so first thing first that I've done on the car I went to Ronza, big shout out to, um, it was at the time called VW and Audi, um, uh, mods, but now it's called, uh, the German Auto Customs, it's now called German Auto Customs, so check them out, they did almost all the job on this car. So first thing first, um, I went there and got the front lip. I went there and got the front lip, which is this lip here. Uh, I'm not going to mention the prices as well. I don't see the need to mention the prices. I think you guys can just uh, check on German Auto Customs. They will then give you all the correct numbers. Because remember, I did these mods like 20 or 2020. So I do not remember the exact prices that i did the mods with so the first thing that i did i got the front lip uh 
which was done on this car then i got the front um lights to be tinted they tinted the front lights and then from there i got this side mirror thing these mirrors they were white before they were white before so um i got it changed into black because i felt like the gloss was gonna match up with the whole thing even nicer however i didn't get this from german automotive um customs i got it from i got it from an online shop in china but I, that's where i bought it from and then i went uh to ronza again to get um my light my 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 my, my windows to be tinted i think it's about five percent tint that i got here so i got my thinking tinted from ronza and then he also gave me this later stage in 2021 he called me and told me that there is this thing i don't know what is what it is called but it's a rear window cover i think i got it so i used to have a black cover t uh, uh, uh wrap here so as the tan was burning the car it just got to crack so i removed it uh, i think a year ago that's where i removed it and then i also got this nice skirt side skirts uh, from the very same company i got these nice side skirts here and then i used to have um i used to have the the ozy rims of which i removed after my accident because i felt like they were the reason why i had an accident um i'll explain to you guys why i'm saying that when i had an accident someone hit me from behind and that rim just cracked completely finished i felt like using those rims uh is not safe i felt like using the original rims in your car is much more safer than having the third party rims installed on your car so that's one of the disclaimer i'd like to give to most of the guys who are having the ozzy rims that i don't trust them they are a good company they are very beautiful they are nice but on a car I wouldn't recommend you to have them for the longest time ever i'd recommend you to put them on weekends probably when you want to go do whatever but your everyday drive should be your original rims then I, I painted my rims with black gloss black um and then i had also the back um rear uh, mirrors covered uh, which were covered in also this black tape to make them look even much more nice and enhanced i also got the rear diffuser as you can see there is my rear diffuser there that i've put on my car and then i've also tinted here a little bit so that when you're at the back you don't see who's at the front and what's happening i also got this spoiler here i also got that spoiler there installed on my car so basically i also got this um from the very same person i also got this uh this thing gti that thing i also got this gti thing there got it from the very same person as well same company i also got these pedal shifters these pedal shifters uh, on the car to make it look even much more nice guys um I keep it i kept it standard and nice and just with those few of the mods that i felt like they were necessary for me to have on the car as you can see it's very nice and clean it doesn't have mutlaka tlaka no most of the people they put just a lot of things on the car which makes it to be even more flamboyant but i felt like i must keep it clean and not too much flamboyant then I also covered this with a gloss tint also covered the logo with the gloss tint and a gti with a gloss tint so so far so good those are the mods that i did on the car so in terms of performance i'm on stage two i'm on stage two i did all that with up performance and collab tuning so as you heard when my girlfriend was raving the car that doesn't sound like other gti's stock gti's i know these gti's will sound better than this one but uh this one also sounds on its own way so uh i used to have um pops and bangs i was advised to remove pops and bangs because they are very much aggressive on the engine so 
that might really destroy your engine as a whole so i removed the pops and bangs from the car and now so what i did what i did at collab tuning um i put the full exhaust system so they removed the original exhaust from the car and put the collab tuning exhaust system so that is what i did and then from there i put what we call valve tronic so valve tronic uh when you have valve tronic you don't always go bah, 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 bah. so when you have valve tronic you have a remote of this nature you get a remote of this nature where you can be able to switch between on and off when you are interested in making noise you switch it to on and then when you're no longer interested in making noise you switch it off so basically that's how it is so and then from there then then they put their systems then i went to up performance to put bubbles on my car so that's why it no longer sound like quah, quah, quah. it sounds like grrr, grrr, grrr. It sounds more like that so i put bubbles because they were less heavy uh, and then they are less damaging when it comes to the whole entire engine so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy it please don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i did a little bit of a car review i didn't do those car reviews that are very deep 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 like where i will tell you that two three point four seconds no man i'm not a car guy i don't know those stats but i just told you what i did specifically on this car since it's my car and i've been having it for two and a half years so it's just one of the things that i thought i should just tell you about so it's a very nice car i won't lie i enjoy it myself it's a car every young boy i feel like every young boy in your 20s it's very much important for you to get yourself a gti it will give you confidence <laughs> it will give you yeah a lot of beautiful women but <laughs> just get one beautiful woman and date them and stick to them you're gonna be fine so other than that you guys please tell me what you think uh tell me what you think if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah there you have it oh i bought the price of the car um the car at the time i got it for no uh, it was not brand new it already had some few kilometers on it so yeah something thousand so that's the amount i got it uh 2020 so it's a 2019 model to 2019 model to 2019 model so right now gti is retailed for over for like 990 000 to even close a million you can also get a gti golf age can get it with a million in in nowadays so yeah it happens one of the cool features i really like about this car that i brag about it's the lights guys look at the lights yo those are one of the coolest features that i like about this car and also one of the things that i like it's the back lights they say bear with me bear with me bear with me bear with me i like these lights i feel like vw did the best job with these lights and even the golf 8 doesn't have the nicest lights as the 7.5 and also one of the coolest features that i like about this car is that you can actually um open windows from outside and also one of the other coolest features i like about this car is that you can you do not need to put a key inside the car when you're driving so as you can notice there is a for a 7.5 the a, a start button there's a start button you just have to press start or stop engine there in order to start the car so that's one of the coolest features i feel i feel like i really like about this car and that separated the most from the golf 7 drivers just like standard golf 7 drivers they do not have the lights like this and also they do not have some certain features that you close now right now i'm closing my windows i'm outside i'm outside but i'm able to close my window so those are one of the coolest features and also golf 7 standard you cannot have your mirrors closed like this so that's one of the nicest things that i find very interesting um uh, like this so yeah that's one of the coolest features from this car i don't know if you guys liked my review but <laughs> i'm not a car <clears throat> best car reviewer but i tried to do my best and tell you things that i know and yeah i feel like if i got in a better guy to do this review they would have done it 
and use those specific nice um, names, specific nice words that are very cool and sweet. But other than that, if you're in South Africa, you know that having a 7.5 is like having those gusheshes, guys. It's the most loved and appreciated vehicle. Other than that, Evers got your mentor signing out.